Talking again about restoration comedy, here is another character type for you to get your head around. Uh, I spoke in one of my other videos about FOP characters. Uh, this is sort of like the anti-FOP. This is like the opposite of a FOP now. I'm gonna to talk to you about a rake. So a rake character, a rake is spelt um, R-A, K-E, uh, rake characters are um, like really kind of cool characters. So uh, if you think of like Sparkish within the play as being this bit of a buffoon that everyone kind of takes the mick out of a lot, the main rake character within the play is a character called Horner. Now Horner is the main character of the play and Horner is a typical rake character. So here are some of the things that uh, characterise rake characters. They are manipulative. They're very, very good at manipulating social situations. Uh, they will lie through their teeth. They are excellent at at deception so they can um, they can often disguise their true intentions very very easily either through a disguise or just through um, using uh, their, their sort of very good mannerisms and sort of the way they act so the main character of Horner he will act very differently to the women characters than he does with the men characters because he's basically his main motivation within the play is to sleep with as many female characters as he possibly can and he's largely successful in this so to do that he has has to be very very manipulative um, and he manipulates the women very successfully he also manipulates the men within the play very very successfully as well um, so a, a it's it's a weird one rate characters because you think well you know man, he's a manipulator he lies he wants to sleep around that would make him like a, a, a not a very nice character usually however rake characters were very admired within restoration comedy because they were the ones that were fooling all the different characters. They were the main characters that were kind of like, um, that, were, that were responsible for pushing the main action of the play forward. So um, within The Country Wife, the, the whole plot around Horner pretending to be an impotent character is a complete lie. And he uses this lie of impotence to um, become close friends with all of the female characters within the play. And because all the male characters think that he's impotent, they're like, well, you can hang around with our wives. Clearly, you're not going to be able to do anything with them. You're not going to be able to be unfaithful. You know, they're not going to be unfaithful with me to you because you're impotent. Obviously, this is just a big lie. And so rakish characters are, um, they're quite kind of like morally... Uh, dissolute and by morally dissolute I mean that they are totally um, they're totally involved in like just pleasuring themselves they 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 uh, place their own pleasure like sexual pleasure um, physical pleasure like drinking um, and like I said before you know like um, sort of close um, contact with um, and sexual contact with as many female characters as you can as being like a really really good thing for those kind of characters so they are charming they're incredibly charming they're incredibly funny but they also are incredibly devious and incredibly manipulative as well and as such they are excellent characters, not just to play within um, a performance context, but also to write about within an essay. Uh, and you'll be expecting to obviously do do that within um, as part of your, your sort of uh, A-level exam. So there you have it, rake characters, characterised by charm, manipulation, but also deviousness. And uh, they are very highly regarded and admired characters within Restoration Theatre. The main rake character of the country wife is a character called Horner. Remember that name, Rake Horner. I'll see you next time.